More than two months ago, 64 dogs were abandoned in a neighborhood in Hernando County. Many of the shitches had to be put down at the shelter. But as Eric Waxler shows us, today was adoption day for some of the dogs that survived. One of these Shih Tzus will soon be going home with Sandra Bailey. I jumped in up and down like a little kid when I found out I actually got in the pool to get one. Sandra's last dog got sick and died a year ago. And when she heard about dozens of Shih Tzus that were dumped near Brooksville, she knew she had to have one. I sat in my chair and started crying. There's no reason to do that to a dog. Sandra came from Hudson to Hernando County Animal Services before dawn. 21 Shih Tzus were up for adoption. She already had a name, Cheyenne. The only question left was which dog to pick. It's going to be hard. You want to take them all home, but you can't. These dogs have been through a lot. Many were sick and covered with infections when they were found in November. And more than half of the 64 didn't even make it to this day because of a parvo outbreak. From where they were two months ago or a month and a half ago, um, they're really just doing so much better. And it's really heartwarming for all of us. Um, and it's a good day for all of us. <laughs> Finally, the first group went to meet the Shih Tzus. Some were loving. Yes, goodness. Some were feisty. <laughs> And after spending time with a few, Sandra made her choice. <laughs> and this little female puppy went from dog number B23B to Cheyenne. I got a new baby. I got a new baby. <laughs> Won't have a worry, because nobody will ever find her on the street again. Never. Some of these dogs still have some health issues, so officials here are recommending the new owners take them to see the vet as soon as possible. But for the most part, a little love and care is all these dogs really need. In Brooksville, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Fourteen of the Shih Tzus were adopted today. Seven more, all males, will be available first come, first serve on Thursday morning.